Flying is an awesome way to travel, although it can sometimes get a tad overwhelming. With so much stuff to keep in mind, it's super easy to slip up and make a few errors. Welcome to our channel, fellow travel addicts. Today we have eight crucial tips to share with you about what not to do on a plane. Following these simple guidelines will ensure a comfortable and hassle-free flight for both you and your fellow passengers. So sit back, fasten your seatbelt, and get ready to soak up some helpful advice. Number one, to go shoeless. Some people like to relax by taking off their shoes during a long flight. But there are a few reasons why it's better to leave them on. First of all, it's important to consider hygiene. Airplane floors are known to be dirty and filled with bacteria and fungi. Taking off your shoes exposes your feet to these unpleasant germs, putting you at risk of infections. Studies have even found bacteria like E. coli and Staphylococcus aureus on airplane floors, which can lead to skin infections. Another reason is, let's be honest, feet can get quite smelly. After being cramped up in shoes for hours, they might not be emitting the most delightful aroma. Taking off your shoes can subject your fellow passengers to these unwanted odors, making their flight experience less enjoyable. According to a study conducted by the University of California, Berkeley in 2011, passengers on airplanes consistently rated the smell of smelly feet as one of their top annoyances while flying. This implies that encountering the unpleasant odor of passengers going shoeless is a widespread and disliked occurrence for many people who travel. And lastly, let's talk about consideration. Imagine this scenario, you're savoring a scrumptious in-flight meal when suddenly a sock comes flying and lands right on your lap. When you glance up, you see your neighboring passenger happily flinging their socks across the aisle, completely unaware of the situation and shoeless. What do you think you would do? Numerous polls consistently reveal that most airline travelers consider it impolite and thoughtless when fellow passengers remove their shoes during flights. So, even though the idea of kicking off your shoes while on board may be enticing, always remember the potential repercussions. Number two, not leaving your seat for hours. While it may be tempting to stay seated throughout a long flight, it's not the best idea for your well-being, comfort, and the comfort of others. Prolonged sitting can lead to poor blood circulation, resulting in swollen and uncomfortable legs and feet. Additionally, it increases the risk of serious conditions like blood clots, which might even be life-threatening. In a study published in the journal Circulation in 2018, researchers made an alarming revelation that sitting for long periods could increase the risk of developing a serious condition called deep vein thrombosis, which is a potentially fatal blood clot. But that's not all. Prolonged periods of sitting can also lead to stiffness and muscle pain, especially in your back, neck, and shoulders. Now imagine being on a flight and facing these discomforts. Not something you'd want, right? You can also make others uncomfortable. For instance, if you are constantly reclining your seat, hogging the armrest, or invading the personal space of the person in front of you, you are most likely ruining the flight experience for those around you. According to a 2020 survey conducted by the Airline Industry Association IATA, the top three annoyances for airplane passengers are reclining seats, intrusive passengers, and noisy passengers. So instead of being glued to your seat, why not take a stroll down the aisle every few hours, do some stretches, or use the restroom? At number three, allowing children to freely roam around the aircraft during the flight. While it may be charming to witness the boundless energy of children, it's important to acknowledge that letting them run freely on a plane can cause disruptions and frustrations for both fellow passengers and parents themselves. Running in the aisle can be a problem for everyone on the plane, especially during emergencies or turbulence. Not only can it block other passengers and crew from moving around, but it can also put a child at risk of falling and getting hurt. Just imagine a little one dashing down the aisle, accidentally crashing into a tray table and causing a cup of coffee to spill all over a sleeping passenger's lap. What was once a joyful moment quickly turns into a situation of apologies and cleanup. That's why it's important to make sure your little ones stay seated and avoid running around. Number four, consider refraining from wearing contact lenses. Although it's technically possible to wear contact lenses on a plane, there are several reasons why it might not be the wisest choice. Airplanes have notoriously dry air due to the high altitude and recycled air. This dryness can cause your eyes to become dehydrated and make wearing contact lenses uncomfortable, especially during long flights. 
Just imagine this, you're peacefully engrossed in a movie on your flight when suddenly your eyes start feeling dry and irritated. You try using eye drops, but they provide little relief. The dryness intensifies, causing your vision to blur and making it difficult to focus on the screen. This is just one unwanted scenario that can occur when you wear contact lenses on a dry airplane. Additionally, the dryness may lead to itching, burning, and a sensation of foreign particles in your eyes. It can be tremendously frustrating and make it hard to relax and enjoy your flight. However, if you still choose to wear contact lenses, make sure to give your eyes breaks during the flight by removing them and using re-wetting drops. If you're going on a long flight, the comfiest and most secure choice is to switch to glasses. Number 5. Making lighthearted jokes about explosives Even if you think it's just a harmless joke, it's crucial to consider the potential consequences. Making a joke about bombs might seem harmless to you, but others could take it seriously. This could lead to panic and fear among passengers and crew, causing chaos and unnecessary stress. It's important to remember that making false threats about bombs is taken very seriously in many countries. Not only can it result in arrest, but hefty fines and even jail time as well. Even if you manage to avoid legal trouble, having a bomb joke on your record can significantly harm your personal and professional reputation. Let's learn from past incidents. In 2018, a passenger on a London to Dubai flight was arrested and fined for joking about having a bomb in his shoe. Similarly, in 2019, another passenger was removed from a flight and questioned by authorities due to a bomb joke made on social media before boarding. So, when you find yourself tempted to make a joke about bombs on a plane, please reconsider. Remember these, it's not funny, it's not worth the risk, just keep it to yourself. At number 6, indulging in some liquid fun. While air travel is often associated with enjoying a few relaxing drinks, becoming intoxicated on board can have disastrous consequences. Alcohol acts as a diuretic, causing increased urination and potentially leading to dehydration. This can worsen the effects of dry air and make you feel even more miserable. Moreover, alcohol can lower your inhibitions and make you more prone to disruptive behavior. From talking loudly and making offensive comments to even becoming physically aggressive, these actions not only ruin your own flight experience but also make it unpleasant for fellow passengers and the crew. It's important to note that being intoxicated on an airplane is illegal in many countries. The consequences include hefty fines, jail time, and even a lifetime ban from flying. The Federal Aviation Administration has strict regulations on alcohol consumption during flights, with violations potentially resulting in civil penalties of up to $25,000 and even criminal charges. So, always better to play it safe and refrain from consuming excessive alcohol while on a plane. Number 7. You should never smoke or vape on a plane. Traveling in an airplane means sharing a confined space with fellow passengers and crew members. Both cigarettes and vapes are not allowed on flights due to safety concerns. Why? Well, firstly, they contain flammable materials and lithium batteries, making them a serious fire hazard on board. Moreover, these activities consume oxygen, potentially depriving others of vital air. Let's not forget that engaging in smoking or vaping can distract the flight attendants and crew members during critical moments, jeopardizing everyone's safety. It's important to be mindful of others when sharing a communal space. Just imagine you're on a long flight trying to catch some sleep when suddenly your seatmate starts puffing away on a vape, filling the air with a sickly sweet odor that makes you feel nauseous. Not exactly the dream flight scenario, right? Moreover, smoking and vaping are globally prohibited on commercial flights. Violators can face serious consequences, including hefty fines and even imprisonment. So to ensure everyone has a pleasant journey, keep your cigarettes and vapes safely packed away. Last but not least, number eight to ensure a safe and pleasant journey, it's best not to open doors while flying. Opening a door in mid-flight? Nope, physics says no way. Okay, here's the deal. The air pressure inside the cabin is way higher than outside. And thanks to this pressure difference, the door stays shut tight. It's like trying to open a car door underwater. You simply can't do it. Even if you somehow managed, the instant drop in pressure would cause the cabin air to gush out like a hurricane. Trust us, it's no joke. People could get seriously hurt or worse be killed. So let's get one thing straight. Opening that door mid-flight is not only physically impossible, but also incredibly dangerous. It's a recipe for disaster, both comical and tragic. That's why you must keep those doors closed and enjoy your flight instead. 
To sum up, though plane etiquette is not obligatory, it plays a vital role in guaranteeing a safe, cozy, and pleasant flight for all passengers. Always remember being considerate and respectful goes a long way, not only on airplanes, but also in life in general. We hope you found some valuable pointers on what to do and what to avoid while on a plane. And before you go, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting travel tips. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to check out our other amazing videos. We appreciate you tuning in and please stay safe.